it's really about recognizing that homogeneity doesn't happen by accident. And it's all of our responsibility to do something about that. Not just because it's the right thing to do, but for our own good, for the good of our own product. I got into coding because of my dad. He was a software engineer and it was kind of a way for me to bond with this guy who spent most of his time in front of computers. So I personally understand how important and effective it is to see someone who looks like you in the field that you want to go into, how encouraging that is and how it makes you say, I could do that too. I made my first website when I was 16. Uh, we're not going to talk about how long ago that was. but. I met my partner, Marty, after college, and we started to do go in 2007. In the 13 years that we've been a web design and digital marketing agency, a few companies have come to us specifically because they were looking for a woman-led or a minority-led development team. I mean, that's why they came to us, but they stayed with us because you know we worked our asses off and really delivered results. But we've managed to form some great partnerships with companies that prioritize diversity, that like me looked out and said, wait a minute, uh, there is no one out there who looks like me or definitely not enough people, and decided to make a choice to do something about it. Aduco is a small and diverse company. A third of our team is black, two thirds are women. Uh, we have our white guys, you know, it's not about cutting out whole groups. It's really about recognizing that homogeneity doesn't happen by accident. And it's all of our responsibility to do something about that, not just because it's the right thing to do, but for our own good, for the good of our own product. Research has shown that a diverse workplace is more effective and diverse organizations perform better. Diversity isn't something that we have any specific practices or protocols around at Aduco, but we all know that hiring bias can influence the makeup of our teams sometimes disguised as culture fit, you know, as we naturally lean toward people who look like us and share our experiences. So black woman principal, diverse team. It's not really something that I've ever had to think about. But fortunately, we're in a moment where we're all doing a lot more thinking. Uh, and so I might posit to other business owners, especially in my industry, what have you done without thinking about it? What might your team, your partnerships, your in product look like if you did? For my part, and for Aduco's part, we're doing a lot more thinking and we're doing a lot more acting. We at Aduco currently donate and discount services to nonprofits that focus on issues that disproportionately affect people of color. Poverty, homelessness, food insecurity, HIV AIDS, Right now, we're working with an organization that is an African-American youth basketball league. But we want to do more. We want to be more specific. We're seeking out connections with organizations that are making space in tech for kids and people who look like me. I don't want to be an anomaly anymore. You know, at least not for that. Not because I'm a black woman in tech. I don't want to stand out. I just want to be outstanding. <laughs>